Magicians of the Gods is a completely new book. It's, it's a sequel to Fingerprints of the Gods, but it's not an update of Fingerprints of the Gods. It's a, it's a completely new book with new travels and new adventures, and, and in particular, new mysterious archaeological sites, sites that weren't even known when I researched and published Fingerprints of the Gods 20 years ago. For example, Gobekli Tepe in Turkey is an extraordinary megalithic site, 50 times bigger than Stonehenge. Only a fraction of it has so far been excavated, but we know that masses more lies under the ground, revealed by ground-penetrating radar. What we're looking at is gigantic megalithic monuments, and our ancestors 12,000 years ago are not supposed to have been able to create things like this. The architectural, the engineering skills, the organization, the management of the labor force, all of that is supposed to have been beyond our ancestors at that time. So it's a very exciting site, and it is by itself rewriting history. Far away in Indonesia, on the other side of the world, we have a, a, a pyramid that for a long time was thought to be a natural hill with a megalithic site on top of it. Excavations and, and remote sensing work with ground penetrating radar and seismic tomography and so on in the last five years have shown that it's a man-made pyramid and that its deepest layers go back more than 25,000 years into deep into the last ice age. Um, Again, this is a site that is completely rewriting history. It can't be explained by the present model of history, and it suggests strongly that we need a new model of history. We need to listen to what our ancestors said about a golden age, about an advanced civilization, Atlantis by any other name, that was destroyed in a global cataclysm, and instead of dismissing that, we need to take those myths and traditions seriously. One of the things that has changed since I wrote Fingerprints of the Gods 20 years ago uh, is that today I have a smoking gun. When I wrote Fingerprints of the Gods, when I published it in 1995, it was obvious there had been a cataclysm at the end of the last ice age, somewhere between 12 and 13,000 years ago. But I was sticking my neck out, suggesting that that had happened. There wasn't the hard scientific evidence in support of that idea. And what's happened in the last 20 years is that that hard scientific evidence has come in. And we now have a group of major scientists, more than 30 of them, working on this problem from all around the world. And what they've shown is that the North American ice cap was hit by fragments of a giant comet, and that this caused a, a global cataclysm, an extinction-level event. The, the mega mammals, like the, the mammoths and the woolly rhinos, went extinct at that time. And I believe the evidence strongly supports the notion that we lost an advanced civilization at that time, which has been remembered in myths and memories ever since. Egypt played a, a big role in Fingerprints of the Gods, but I've been back reinvestigating the Egyptian evidence for Magicians of the Gods. You know, the case that I made in Fingerprints of the Gods, based on the work of Professor Robert Schock at Boston University and John Anthony West about the age of the Sphinx, was that the Sphinx is more than 12,000 years old, that it bears the characteristic marks of exposure to thousands and thousands of years of heavy rainfall. Now, of course, academic historians at that time said that this must be nonsense. The Sphinx couldn't possibly be 12,000 years old. There was no other major megalithic monument anywhere in the world that was 12,000 years old. Well, now we have Gobekli Tepe in Turkey nearby, which is cut and dried proven to be 12,000 years old, and that changes everything about how we must assess the ancient Egyptian monuments. The ancient Egyptians also preserved records going back thousands of years that speak of a, a global civilizing mission uh, of people who traveled around the world spreading the benefits of civilization, and I've investigated this mythical material very closely in Magicians of the Gods. Researching Magicians of the Gods has taken me all over the world. I've traveled in Peru and uh, Bolivia. Looking at the possibility that the monuments there that are attributed to the Incas may in fact be much older than historians and archaeologists uh, believe. I made a, a gigantic journey around uh, Indonesia, all over the island of Java, all over Sumatra, all over Sulawesi, 
and into Flores as well because there is an unknown megalithic culture in Indonesia which has just hardly been studied by scholarship at all and all the evidence suggests that it too dates back into the last ice age, that it's rewriting history. I went to Baalbek in the Lebanon, it's a site that I've always wanted to visit where we have the largest blocks of stone ever cut and moved in the ancient world, blocks of stone weighing more than a thousand tons built into a mysterious megalithic wall. Uh, and I've been looking at the evidence that although much of the site is Roman, that that megalithic wall is vastly pre-Roman.